Today, we're going to use the Matrice 4 TD. It's a drone, it's a drone in a box. What is it? Drone in a box? It's a drone in a box. How's the progress, Archie? Very good. That is absolutely incredible. How clever is that? Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel and thank you very, very much for all the subscribers. We've just hit over 2,000, which I'm absolutely delighted with. Today, we're gonna to use the Matrice 4 TD. Would you believe this drone is located and, and lives in the new Dock 3? We've been doing some testing with the Dock 3 internally. We're now gonna get the Dock 3 outside and we're gonna activate the drone for the first, very, very first time, so it's like a maiden flight. After we've tested it to make sure it's okay, we're then gonna to go to a remote location and show you how you can activate the Matrice 4 TD from the dock free remotely. It's gonna be a really, really good video. If you're into your tech, this is the most probably exciting video you will see on YouTube today, hopefully. Even though the dock free isn't that heavy, we are gonna use our trolley, which we use for our, our goods in and goods out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the team, we're gonna pop the dock uh, free onto the trolley. We're then gonna run some wires because it does need power and it does need internet. We're gonna locate it in a safe area outside and then we're gonna show you and take you through the whole steps of activating the dock and we're gonna catch it all on camera and hopefully it's gonna be really, really cool. What we're doing now is we're running an ethernet cable to our router from, from the dock free. This will give us all the internet connection we need. After we've done this, we're then gonna get the extension lead and attach the power that's gonna power the dock up. The dock free can be operated from anywhere in the world, providing it has some power and it has some internet. The great thing is, say for instance, you haven't got power at your location, you could use one of the DJI Power 1000s with, with some solar panels, and you can also use the Starlink if you haven't got internet uh, connectivity. It's a drone, it's a drone in a box. What is it? Drone in a box? It's a drone in a box, yeah. So you can mount this anywhere in the world. Yeah. You can operate it remotely from anywhere, providing you've got Wi-Fi, and it will take off, collect data, come and land again, Kidding. and send the data to wherever you are. On, Clever, isn't it? Well, it'll take a little while to set up. It's the first time we've used it. But if you're around, it's you can have a look. Yeah. Shall I give you a shout when it goes yeah. up? Yeah, it's very clever. And it's air conditioned and heated. So if it lands and it's hot, it'll, it'll um, air condition and cool it down. And if it's really, really cold, it will put the heating on for you as well. That's the dock free set up. It's now got power, it's now got internet. We're now gonna go inside and do, do some basic checks which we'll show you on the computer. We're also gonna attach a controller to it so my son Tom can act as like a spotter and keep an eye on it just to make sure everything go, goes to plan. Oh, and I better put some cones around it just in case, you know, no, <laughs> someone drives into it. You know what the driving standards are like these days. Uh, I'm setting up R2K on the, uh, on the dock so that we can set the alternative landing uh, spot and then obviously once that's set we can then take it off and it will calibrate. We're now inside we're now using Archie's laptop to control the dock software. We're gonna plan a really, really simple flight. What I'm gonna ask Archie to do is take off, fly up, say, 30, 40 meters, fly over to the open ground, and then come back and land. 
Is that right? Of course. So Archie's now going to, well Dave's going to display on the screen what Archie's setting up now. So we're going to set it to 40 metres. We've got some cameras outside. We're going to get my son Tom, do you want to get the controller? Just there. So my son Tom is going to take, take the, the, the controller outside just to keep an eye on what's going on. What we're going to do is we're going to fly these three points. So we're also going to give you some feed from the drone as well. Dave, let's go outside because I, I really need to witness this. Uh, you're going to stay in here controlling it. Tom's going to be outside in the second controller just to make sure everything's okay. Let's get this Doc Maiden flight in the air. Archie wanted to see as well, so Archie's now out here with his laptop. So, Archie, you're going to press the button. Dave, yep. if you want to focus on the dock. Let's see if we can get this dock in the air. Of course. The media, after it's going to return to home, return to home altitude's also going to be 40 metres. Amazing. Press OK. Is that it? Yeah. OK, here we go. The maiden flight of our dock. So Doc's going to open. Anyway. This is really cool. Fun, it? Drones powering on. And this is all automated. Drones up. The dock's now closing. It's going to whiz up to 40 metres. now turning. I love the way it sort of backs yeah. on itself, then it's like showing off. Cool. And the dock's now flying out. We can still maintain visual line of sight of it. My son Tom's got the controller, just to make sure that if anything goes wrong, because it's our first maiden flight, we can control it. How's the progress, Archie? Very good. So again, this, this can be mounted anywhere as long as you've got Wi-Fi and, and power. Just keep an eye on it. Here it comes, it's coming back. Now this is the bit that's going to amaze me. So the dock's now coming back on its way home. It's certainly come back slower, Archie, isn't it? In a minute, hopefully, the dock will open. Hopefully the dock will open. It's getting into position. The dock's opening. What? Tom, have you seen one of these? Have you seen it's one of these? It's coming down. Have you seen one of these before? Looking good. Put the camera down. See a little twitch then to, to keep it level. That is absolutely incredible. How clever is that? Sick. And now the dock will close. Sorry, mate. Yeah, you can go through. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. That is so clever. That is amazing. What we want to do now is go to like a remote location and then see if we can activate it from that remote location with my son staying here with a second controller. Keep an eye on it. Should we do that, Archie? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's jump in the car quickly. So we're just leaving work. We've left Tom there. We're going to give Tom a FaceTime call to make sure he's in position. What we want to do is set a couple of cameras off as well so you can record it. We've decided to actually go opposite where, where we're going to set the where we're going to set the drone to go automatically just so we can see it and we can try and get some footage from there as well. Uh, Archie's pre-planned the route, checking all the distances and stuff. So hopefully this, this should be really, really cool when we when we see it, because we'll actually see it taking off, coming over, collecting its data, and then Tom will be on the other side to see it land again with the cameras. So stay tuned. We'll let you know when we're all hot spotted using our mobiles for some from data to set to set set the drone off and go from there. Okay, Tom, Tom's at site. We've just come around the back. I'm just going to FaceTime my son Tom now to make sure he can activate the, the cameras and keep an eye on the drone. 
Archie's using my phone for Wi-Fi connectivity to Hotspot. And um, there'll be three of us. Hi, Tom. Hi, Okay, I'll let you know when we, we activate it. Do you want to hit the, um, turn the camera? On. Yeah, do you want to hit both the cameras? Do, do the Action 5 camera first. And then the, yeah. the pocket. Just make sure they're both on and recording if you can. That's recording. I think Max's dad wanted to see it as well. Yeah, that's recording. Brilliant. And then you're going to go, Archie? Yeah, yeah, tell me when. Okay, we're going to activate now, Tom. Two seconds, we I'm just putting the pocket free on charge. Yeah, that's ready to go. All good? Got my control in there. Okay, all happy? Yeah, everything's all good. There's okay, and around. the drone's set to record as well. Brilliant. Okay, let's go. It's doing a little map. You ready? Let's so, go. so we set the drone to do a little map. Mark, are you able to stay here so I've got the signal? Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Cheers. So there's the there's the dock opening. So clever. There's a live view from the drone. Okay, there's, there's, there's a live view from the drone. So clear, isn't it? Here's the dock on the ground, obviously. Really clever. Keeping it in visual line of sight. Yeah, well, no, well, no we've, we've got clear vision from here. Can you see that? It's so clever, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. And can you show are you screen recording? Mm hmm I'm screen recording this whole thing. Brilliant. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally there. I can hear the dock closing, Tom. It's closed already. So the drone's start the map. So just the drone's now. in a hover at the moment. It's now gonna start its map. It's just started. Just starting its collecting its data. I can't I can't quite get over how good Flight Hub 2 is for being a browser based piece of software. Yeah. This is browser based. Is it really? Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything installed. <laughs> so that's just running off my phone? Running off your phone's Wi-Fi and my Google Chrome. So clever. So does it show you how much it's got, how much Tom, we, Yeah, Tom, we've got three minutes until it comes back. So did you hear that, Tom? Is it three minutes till it comes back? Three minutes, yeah. That's fine. It's a great position to be here. We can see it really clearly. So I've just asked my son Tom to get his iPhone out just so you can get some more angles of it coming back. But so that's the second flight we've done. The first flight was a test. The second flight was to send it to collect some data. What I'll ask Dave to do is include all the screen records, all the camera angles and stuff we've got. And also then, how long will it take for the data to come back and be uh, sent? Within sort of 10, 15 minutes. It's opening up the dock, <clears throat> dock's opening up now. So docks opening up. That is so so clever. It's so clever, isn't it? So docks slightly gone out of sight for us now, but Tom's well in sight. Hopefully, see the drone there sometime soon. That's it. No, it does come down quite slowly. Mm -hmm. and it sort of just places itself in. There you go. There it comes to land. And then the dock will close up. The dock's now going to close up now. So the data we've asked it collect will be is it on a cloud in about 10 to 15 mm -hmm. minutes. So there's the dock closing up now. And, and then, then it will switch to the top and that's all done. And that'll go back on charge. What we'll ask to do today in edit is just uh, overlay what um, Archie's laptop could see. We've got two cameras there as well, and also we've got stuff that the, that the drone can see. And then the actual map and the data we can overlay as well, can't we, as part of a project of afterwards? Of course we can, yeah. Perfect. And it's, uh, it's, it's still got 85% and it's charging now. Incredible. Um, it, yeah. fin it finished the last uh, flight. How long do you reckon it was between us getting here and the last flight we did? How long? Well, I don't know, you tell me, five minutes? Five minutes? Yeah, it finished the last flight at 70% and when we took off it was on 90. Yes, that's really, so, so it five charges minutes, very, very fast. Very and that's wireless charging as well. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back for, um, to, to, to where the dock is at work. So there you go, that's the new DJI Dock 3. That's all commissioned and tested 
at our head office in Chichester. We've got lots of plans for this. The first thing we want to do is actually mount it somewhere. We want to mount it somewhere so we can use it and test it remotely. At the moment, if it's activated remotely, you must have someone with, with, the, um, with obviously the drone looking after it, but we hope things will change in the future. So. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like and a share. We'll see you on the next video.